the scent that kind of got everything going was the revision after the large scent was, well, no longer functional. It was the size of a half dollar, and the value of copper was bigger than the scent. So in 1856, we petitioned the small scent to be made. 1857, we put out the Flying Eagle for two years, and then we cut it. And in 1859, we introduced the beloved Indian Head scent. And it lasted for 51 years, until 1909. And what replaced it? It was the longest tenured coin in history. We replaced it with the longest coin of ever, the Lincoln scent going on 112 years, or whatever it is right now. It's just been out there forever. Well, tonight we put together a great collection, the last decade of our beautiful Indians, they're in the gorgeous Defender holder. And the most important part is hand-selected quality with the crazy price of under $50 for all of them. So the last decade is 1900 through 1909. For pretty much the entire series, only one coin was made per year, and that's the Philadelphia. The last two years, San Francisco chimed in. This is the complete Philadelphia set. These are those big, beautiful coppers. Again, it was Lady Liberty with a head bonnet, an Indian bonnet, and they nicknamed it shortly thereafter the Indian Head Scent, and it, st and it stuck. So we had 51 years of the Indian. As I referenced, beautiful, gorgeous, hand-selected, circulated pieces. My competition have the same 10 coins we have. Theirs are in flips, which is, again, quality is everything. Packaging is just nice. And they're at $172. They want $37 by itself just for the 09, the last year of issue. Well, you help us by giving us the buying power to get out there and make a little noise. And as a result, we come back with, well, crazy prices the way we're supposed to. Now these 10 will come in this display box. As you can tell, the rows or combs inside of the box will separate the coins so the plastic holders won't be scratched as often. They emulate the NGC and PCGS holders that are in the marketplace. And with all the packaging over the last five years being shifted away from capsules and flips, which most of us grew up with, right? to now the certification syndrome, which is out there, and it's a big part of collecting. When we found this holder, we were able to then say, hey, we can make this with volume where it can just be our regular packaging for most of our coins when available. The unfortunate thing is these holders sell out all the time, and it takes months to have them restocked. So when it comes to the scent, this might be our last offering until we get them back in inventory. But tonight we can enjoy the flow. And that flow is of the last decade. The last decade of Indian Head scents. 1900 through 1909. Beautiful, gorgeous, complete, and affordable for all. Now... I get asked often at shows, like later this week we'll be in Gettysburg, and I always bump into a few people, and it's always a great conversation. What are you looking for? If I know where I can help you find it, I will definitely point you in the direction. But a lot of the questions come down to, we've had a lot of fun doing this. Myself, I'm dating myself. I've been doing this for 40 years as a profession, so obviously I'm a few years older than that. And what's a great collectible category to get the youngins involved with today. Children, grandchildren, uh, friends, people you can interact with. And big is always helpful, but sometimes the storylines of the respective coins are the other side. And two of the more popular are the Indian Heads and the Lincoln Cents because you can get lots of coins that are very much still affordable today and get that treasure hunt under your belt, and then you, you're hooked. So we're always looking at ways of presenting and bringing out beautiful collector sets at affordable prices 
whether it's the end user, us as individuals, or someone down the pike. I got introduced to collecting by my grandfather. I was a paper boy in the 60s, and at that time we collected our own funds house to house from those that we delivered papers to. And I had all my books that he always gave me, and you, you know, your Whitman push button. So if you had the Wheaties, you would put them all in, and you're hoping for the mint mark you needed. And when you got really beautiful coins, you put them in a bucket, or if there were silver coins, you put them in a different bucket, right? We did our thing. But he would sit down with us on Sundays after my grandmother passed away, and my mother would clean the house, make meals for him. That way his independence was with what he wanted. And, but he would sit down with my brother and I after cartoons, and his cartoons were watching wrestling on TV. You might remember those Sundays back in the early 70s. Um, he would bring out a coin, because my mother wouldn't take anything, and he'd give us a collector coin, a 43 Walker. He would give us a Washington Quarter, or he would give us a Lincoln Cent. And our storyline was he would tell us that coin story. What went on in 1943? What he was doing in 1943? And slowly get you hooked on the stories of the coins and then into the coin series and everything else behind it. It's just what it is. This is American history, and we get to hold it in our hands. Who had that coin in 1908? Who had that coin in 1900? Can you believe it's been 120 odd years ago? These were the coins in circulation with our forefathers. Guys, we got to put a 30 second clock up. Thank you all for spending some time with us on this one. As a reference, we're going to be all over the place, from silver dollars at crazy prices to beautiful collections of coppers. It's just fun stuff. And that series, the Indian Head series, the 51 coins, is actually still affordable over 100 years later. That's the best part. Now our competition, again, 172 for the exact coins you're seeing on your screen. Theirs are in flips. Ours are in these beautiful Defender holders. Ten, we're, under, we're under $5 a coin, packaged with the outer box. That's something special.